Hey guys, it's me, Wild Bill, coming back again with some more uh, Hell Let Loose tip. Spare me. Today we will be talking about geography. Now geography is about where things are and where like we are and how things relate to each other and us. But if you didn't already know that, then don't panic. Don't panic! Hello, welcome to Wild Bill Jamming. I hope you're well. Today, we're going to be talking about maps and how to read them. It's like learning um, some exotic language that you have no idea about. Because I think this is the key difficulty that new players face, as well as old players. Because new players, you might be a little bit confused. You keep getting shot and you don't know where from. Because this game doesn't tell you anything. It's up to your teammates and your map. Let's start with the very basics. Problem number one, invasion of privacy. That's right. Enemies are always trying to get near you. Trying some grab bath and the touchy feely. They're real creepy dudes. So you need to let your mates know so they don't get their ass grabbed. Noob noob. What's up? You've got a tiger over here in D6. Noob noob behind you. You're gonna get shot in the ass. Yeah, he's looking right at you. And this is the reason why I'm making this video. Because there's nothing worse than seeing your mate's ass get blasted. All right, problem number two. One you may be feeling right now. Information overload. There's a lot of information on these maps, but it's all good stuff. And if you want to shoot people and get a little bit froggy, ribbit, ribbit, then you're going to want to learn how to read it so you don't keep getting shot in the back. And before we get any further, I just want to say this to any new players watching. I want them to act like they have balls. I want them to stop shitting their pants! Because in Hell That Loose, it doesn't matter if you die, you don't lose tickets. But what you do get Sorry? is information. 10, I'll go first, I've only got a shitty rifle. I'll show you where they are. Let me show you where the Major is. No, don't do that. Don't do that! Yeah, that's right. Go a bit Red Army on it. Go and die, because that'll reveal their locations. Like oh! Oh! I hope you don't. And you never know, you might just surprise yourself. The only hope you have is to accept the fact that you're already dead. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner you'll be able to function as a soldier's supposed to function. So let's use uh, Jeremy here as an example. He sat right next to the garrison, which isn't pinging. Go on, Jeremy. And if he just checked his map, he would have seen. I want them to stop shitting their pants! Only when the garrison is pinging, you need to shoot your pants. Oh, As a rule of thumb in a public server, if you start losing the cap, you need to head back and defend. So how do you know when to go back? You just need to keep checking your map, because it is constantly changing all the time. We're fucking time travel, yes? We're in a weird and wonderful world where everything is different. Maybe you can download rice. Well, this is where your squad leaders come in to tell you what to do, right? Assuming that the leaders themselves know what they're doing. If they don't, we certainly don't. With all the information available, there's the danger that you finally become dependent on the briefer, the man who can package it for you in a way that is comprehensible. And the briefer, in turn, may have more the qualities of an actor than of a thinker. And to be a good player, you need both of those qualities because you don't have a lot of time. So let's have a quick look at this. We've got a lot of stuff pinging, both east and west. And this is what the map looks like literally three seconds later. You blink and you miss it. You know what? This is boring. Delete. All I'm trying to say is check your maps more. Use it like a giant mini map or, you know, a map. As you learn the game, you'll learn where people put garrisons and it becomes a lot easier. So you'll be able to get around the back of them and shoot them in the butt. Because there's only so many places that they can put them. By the way, don't put OPs next to each other. And getting good at this game is combining all of these things together. It's not just about killing loads of people. It's about killing loads of people and reacting to what you see on the map. That's constantly changing. And marking stuff as quickly as possible is really important. Even if you're surrounded by enemies. Because if you truly know where everyone is, then you can stand out in the open without any fear. 
So let's start throwing all this stuff together. So here we've got an instance of me finding someone, taking him out, and then going to check out the area where he's come from. Because where there's an enemy, it's usually a spawn point. Got enemy supplies are mopping. This is where you need to ping for your squad lead. And you can't always get the job done yourself, but you've done enough just by finding it. So I start heading back over there. But on my way I see my tank getting engaged, and as an AT guy I go over to repair him. And this is where I can kill two birds with one stone. Hey Waffles, I think there's a garrison to your right somewhere. I'll try and get you a better bearing in a minute. But there's enemy supplies in the corner of the fields that you might be able to see. You get it? Yep. You nice, said you nice. Your <laughs> right, you're good. Please don't throw me out of the clan because yeah, I have you. such a bad KD. And that brings us to problem number three. The information poor. Now this can take form in many different ways. One of the most frustrating ways is teammates calling out numbers in reference to the compass. And this can be effective if you're stood right next to them. And I can't be bothered to sift through all the footage to try and find some examples of when people have done this. It essentially sounds like this. Eight. Uh, 93. 15. 70. Where? But I do have a solution. Every time someone calls out a compass bearing that doesn't make sense to you, I want you to say... That's number Wang, take a number. Simon? 3,249. That's number Wang, take a number. Julie? No! That's Wangana! The only exception to this is when you have the same reference point, like when you're in a tank. But as well as using those numbers, always make sure you ping it, because then the gunner will know exactly where to shoot. He can shoot through hedges, through fog, through whatever. Yeah, nice. I'll start driving backwards. There's, there's a tiger. And marking enemy tanks is so important for friendly tanks. Oh, well, I can't see shit from here. Have a little faith, baby. Have a little faith. Because honestly, it doesn't matter if you can't see shit from there. Oh, I've got markers now. I know where the tanks are. It's there. Straight ahead. It should be right behind it. Just, uh, yeah, straight ahead. I've got it. Hold, hold. Yeah, uh, one, four, five. Right there. On pink. Can you see it? Yeah, good hit. Probably hit it there. Yeah, nice. Tanks down. Now go on, get down into your hole. And it's not just tanks you need to know about. You need to know about the infantry because one AT guy can take you down very quickly. Enemy infantry jig outpost C4, they're trying to flank. Yeah, they're never behind them now, they should have been. Fuck is... Uh, we got a guy, AT behind us, AT behind us. Uh, behind us. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, need to help fast, we need to help fast. Do we have a panther? He's down. Yeah. And you've got to keep updating those markers. Because if there's one thing tankers hate most, it's being surprised. Is that Jumbo still up? Be careful, because they are north of us. Oh, yeah. Uh, which way is he facing? I'm going to gun them now. Uh, towards oh, the garrison. That is Western. really risky, bro. Alright, let's go for that tank. He's facing towards the garrison. Let's remove some garrison sudden. He's in front, in front, in front, in front. Oh, oh shit. Low water plate, low water plate, low water plate. Okay, back That's up, not, back, not up back up, back up. Uh, really just take it out. I sh <laughs> Dude, I shot fucking... And reading maps as recon is essential. If you're on the back foot, you need to go back and take out the attacking garrisons to allow your guys to move up. One good recon can take out loads of squads in one foul swoop because no one's really checking their maps at the minute. And even though we had artillery all over these guys, you still need someone to take out the OPs. And you also need to take out the squad leader because the way that the OPs work at the minute is that they can get one back up pretty quickly. So, look at your maps, and I'm sure this game will get a lot more fun for you. Because there's no greater feeling than strolling across an open field and walking up behind the enemy commander and ass blasting him. I need to be bad man. Let's pull up our bootstraps, oil up a couple of asses, and do a little plowing of our own. After all, the essential tools and skills of the Information Society can show us what choices we have. 
And that will allow us to do something we've never done before. Consciously shape our destiny. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. There's still loads more I could talk about with map awareness. But the key thing is just to keep looking and keep updating and let people know in a concise way. And if you're not getting killed whilst you're looking at your map, you're doing it wrong. <laughs>